difference number five is mounts. Well, in my kind of career, I managed to break a few fake QD mounts because they were made out of shitty, brittle metal. Never broke a real one. Now, the other point about mounts is that the real ones, if you take the sides on and off, keep the zero. The fake ones I wouldn't trust. Which is really nice, for example, if you go traveling and you can still rely on the zeroing. Difference number six is the reticle. Real sites have a very, very small center dot. Just to give you an example, the EOTEC center dot is one MOE, which is about one inch at 100 meters, 100 yards. And the aim point is about two to four MOE, depending on how much money you throw at it. The fake ones, they're way bigger. We don't really know how to measure it precisely, but trust us, they are really large, they're really blurry, they're not really crisp like the real ones. This doesn't really matter too much if you have an unprecise gun to begin with, but if you have a quality airsoft gun, then you really want to take the full potential of this gun and going for a really crisp and accurate reticle. Difference number seven is parallax. Real sights have a significantly less problem with parallax compared to the fake ones, so you can actually rely on your dot where your gun is aiming at. However, even real ones can have a little bit of a parallax issue, primarily the aim points at the edges, but seriously, it's not really significant. Fake ones on the other side have severe parallax issue, especially the non-tube fake reflex sites. So we're talking here about Trichicon SIS sites. I mean, there's a reason why the real one costs a thousand bucks or more and is still not that great. Further on, we recommend to stay away from cheap EOTech clones, but more about it a little bit later. So the rule of thumb is the bigger the glass, the bigger is the parallax issue. The last difference is battery life. I mean, the real ones, they're kind of measured in years, especially the aim points. Well, the fake ones, you probably have to change the battery every few games. And you certainly have to exchange the battery every game if you forget to turn off the site. The people who are a little dim and forget to do that, well, for those people, I highly recommend a real optic because you will guarantee that your optic will always be on. All right, let's summarize the whole thing. Till your real side breaks, if you would have had instead a few fake ones, you will probably go through a few fake ones till your real one will break because it will take quite a while till it does. So it almost makes sense financially wise. Now, the real ones also have a significant advantage in terms of quality. So we're talking about low light situations, you can use knots with them, you can zero them better, adjust them in wider ranges, then your reticle is way crispier and more precise, you have a lot less parallax issues. So the kind of topic is once you went real, you really don't want to go back. And that is the moment where I want to tell you a little story about a friend of us who took his workmate to play airsoft the very first time. So he's a good guy. So he gave his workmate one of his guns, which had an aim point COM4 on it, which he bought used a while ago. So his friend was playing and he had fun. And at the end of the day, he said, you know what, airsoft is amazing. I want to buy now my own equipment. So I want to get a gun like this and a sight like this. Like, Ooh, <coughs> sure, I bought the COM4 used, but <laughs> it's, it's not necessarily a beginner optic because it's still quite pricey. Like, oh, what do you mean? It's just an optic. Well, you know what? Go over to the other guys and look through um, some of the optics. So he goes over them, takes a couple of other players' guns, looks through the optics, comes back and said, oh, I don't want to tell them, but their optics are really, really bad. I was like, yeah, that's the difference between fake and real ones. Now, at the end of the day, he did not buy um, a real optic then, um, but what he did was he bought a real steel optic as a budget solution. And those are the ones we want to talk about now. Because we're getting it. Real optics are expensive, especially the premium ones. But if you're on a budget, fair enough. Option number one, and a lot of people forget about that, is to buy a real steel premium optic used. So we bought, for example, this EOTech 553 uh, for about 350 bucks. It's perfect, fine condition, night vision compatible, great. We bought this real T1 with a real magnifier for about 800 bucks together. Sure, it looks a bit run down, but it's in a pretty good condition. Option number two is to buy a budget real steel sight. So as I mentioned before, Holosun is an option for about 200 bucks. 
primary arms for around 100, Burris under 300, Bushnell under 100. Sure, they're not all night vision compatible and they have the little quirks here and there, but honestly, a lot of guys run them and they're absolutely great for airsoft. Seriously. Now, if you're in a really tight budget and you say, you know what, I have to go fake. Fair enough. I'm not going to judge you. Buy a fake T1, or rather H1. Because in our experience, those are the best cheap airsoft replica sites. And if you want to buy one, look for the one with the highest amount of brightness settings. Sure, they're not the greatest, but they're still kind of okay for skirmish games. Because they're still small, they're light, and because of the small tube, the parallax issue isn't that much. Sure, you still have your low light issues, you have reliability thing, your QD mount might break from time to time, cheap metal and so on. But we personally run a lot of fake T1s on our cheaper guns, like uh, spring shotguns and whatnot, because we don't want to put an expensive sight on these ones. Fair enough. Now, what you should not buy, what you really should stay away from, are fake airsoft EOTEC sites, Trichicon SAS, reflex sites, or anything super cheap under like 50, 70 bucks Canadian, um, in the US might be even cheaper. I even managed to break one Hurricane EOTEC clone for about over 100 bucks, simply because of the stupid zero topic. So the rule of thumb is, the bigger the glass, the worse. Especially the non-tube ones are even worse than the ones with tubes. So don't take Call of Duty as a reference. In closing, we're not some crazy stupid elitists who tell you, oh, you need to have this premium, super expensive sites to be a good airsoft. No, that's seriously not it. We're not going to judge you for anything for stupid reasons. But let's keep in mind, you're not just investing into quality, but you're also investing into way better performance. So on the long run, you kind of get your money back and you're going to be a lot more happy. There are budget solutions out there. Fair enough. They're perfectly valid. But what drives me crazy, sometimes really pisses me off, are the people who run around with $600 to $3,000 super high-end AG, PDWs, whatnot, and then they slap on a super cheap fake EOTech, just kind of for the looks. It's like buying the high-end Lamborghini and you slap on the cheapest tires. You're absolutely wasting the potential and the performance of your toy. If you want to know more about real steel sites, check out our gear reviews. Have a good one.